Hi everybody, Mia here, and this is basically a week of review for me. As you know, if you've been following this, I uh, have had a lump in my right breast for a little while. Um, I went to the doctors and they, they didn't really give me the full results right away, but on April 1st, which is actually April Fool's Day, which I thought was really interesting, uh, <laughs> They, they called me back and said that uh, I should come back and have a needle biopsy just to be sure because uh, things had changed, the lump was bigger and all that. So keeping my fingers crossed, today's going to be my appointment and it's going to be at I think 2 o'clock. So I won't know the results from that in a couple of days. Not too worried about it. Um, you know, life is what it is, and you just take everything as it comes, so I'm pretty positive about it. I don't think it's going to be a problem, so um, in any event, um, I wanted to just review some things that have been happening this week or that we've gone over on Juicing for the Win. Um, we actually banned our first member this week. I think I told you all about that. <laughs> we gave her the Comment Troll Award, and you get that for being particularly um, nasty and attacking, especially if it's for no reason. <laughs> I also uh, reposted another link from my inspiration, Andy, who uh, completed recently a year of juice fasting, and you know, I figured if he could do it, I could too. So that's a lot of what's inspired me. I was considering doing it before for an extended time period, um, but visiting with him let me know that it actually can be done. And so I reposted his link. Um, just go to Facebook and uh, search for Year of Juice. And he's tracked quite a bit of his journey over the year that he was juice fasting and he's quite incredible. Go ahead and look him up and like his page if you could. Um, another topic is uh, ever since I've been juice fasting, which has been 70 something days at this point, my nails have always been very, very thin. Uh, in fact, when I shower and get them wet, after my shower they're actually transparent. They're so thin I could just bend them right over. And ever since juicing, um, I've been juicing a year and a half off and on and they're thicker and they grow long. They never grew long before because they always just broke right off like glass. And so uh, my nails are much healthier now and you know I've tried everything in my life to make my nails thicker. So this is a, a really awesome thing that's very positive. Um, also Geofig and Life as you've noticed has a new look. That was at the suggestion of YouTube. I've got a new format that they wanted to offer me and so here is your brand new GF Vegan Life. I hope that you like it. I think it looks uh, looks better and I don't know, I just think the presentation is, is a lot better. Um, another topic that I've gone through um, this week on Facebook is eating vicariously through others. Um, <laughs> I consider it a coping skill while juice fasting. Um, I thought uh, I thought it's kind of funny. Um, I finally figured out what dogs are doing when they seem to be begging. Yes, they want your food, but more so, I believe they are eating vicariously through us. I've been ta I've been taking this role lately with my boyfriend when he has a meal, and I consider it a very practical skill. I go through the whole ritual. I plan the meal, shop for the food, cook it, and then serve it up. It's kind of like I'm doing the whole thing, but uh, the only part that's missing is I'm not eating it. So what I do is I sit there and I watch him eat it. I can imagine what it tastes like, what the texture is, the temperature. I imagine all the parts of it. And I smell it and watch him eat that. And it's kind of almost like I'm eating myself. And I really think that's what dogs are doing when they're watching you eat. <laughs> so this I consider a new art that I've learned and uh, helps to keep me from eating while I'm fasting. I have begun to put flax seeds in my juice. Uh, flax seeds have a lot of omega-3s, an incredible amount. 
And what I do is I put it in my neutral bullet, which has a special blade for making flour and milling, and I grind them to powder. And I put about two tablespoons of my juice, uh, maybe once a day or once every two days. And I think that's going to help. Uh, I've recently read about how um, they're not quite sure and haven't proven it yet, but they say that uh, lack of uh, healthy fats can cause your gallbladder to produce gallstones when you're losing a large amount of weight rather fast. So just to be safe, I put some flaxseed in. That's my thoughts. It's probably not something that I have to do, but it's just something that I wanted to do. I noticed when I did it, I felt really, really good. Suddenly just felt really great. So. I figure, you know, I'm going to be doing this for a year, so for maximum weight loss I might not put the flaxseed in, but I'm not worried about weight loss. I'm getting pretty close to where I need to be. I'm just trying to heal my body, so I figure a little powder in there is not going to really hurt too much and might be beneficial actually. So um, everybody on my Facebook page, Juicing for the Win. Um, thank you for your patience. I know I don't answer all your questions right away. My goal is to answer right away. Um, I lost my phone last week, and it was uh, a real bummer. <laughs> and uh, I've replaced it since, but uh, I'm a little slower on answering. My phone is not as great as my last phone, and that's going to change pretty soon. But uh, I try to get to your questions as soon as possible. I know you guys need help, and I really want to be here to help you. So um, if you don't get a response right away, just be sure to personal message me, and I'll get to that. It's a lot better of a way. Um, and oftentimes I post your uh, the answers that I write to you um, publicly on the wall. Um, I don't I don't post what you write, I just post what I write. And that's because I want to share it with the group and want to make sure that everybody benefits from that. I wanted to make sure to let you know that um, I really recognize your efforts and your achievements and um, you know, everybody's so determined to improve their health and I can't congratulate you all personally, although I'd love to write personal messages to each and every one of you congratulating you for your success. Um, keep going, don't give up, and remember, if I'm doing it, you can too.